Hey guys, it's Bang for Buck PC Gamer here. Um, this is just a quick video for a workaround that I made for uh, the lack of SLI support for Fallout 4. Now, I currently am using drivers 358.91. These are the latest game ready drivers which I downloaded through um, NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Um, so if you literally go to GeForce Experience, check for updates and it will download the latest game ready drivers as you can see, version 358.91 are Fallout 4 Star Wars Battlefront and StarCraft 2 Legacy Void game ready drivers. So these are the latest you can get. Um, so currently using two GTX 980 Ti's um, and I was obviously disappointed that I couldn't take advantage of all that performance. Um, Fallout 4 um, it's a decent game, it does have its fair share of bugs, um, but the performance does work really, really well with this profile that I've made. So the first thing you're going to need is to download NVIDIA Inspector. Um, I'll put a link into the description to make it a little bit more easy for you. Um, so once you've done that, you open NVIDIA Inspector, you click on this spanner and um, screwdriver icon. This will open up another tab which allows you to customize your drivers. The first thing you want to do is select the Fallout 4 profile um, which is already there which is predefined. So you select Fallout 4. Now your one won't look like this because I've already made the, the changes. Um, what I did was um, select Batman Arkham City as my SLI compatibility um, profile. So literally the first tab is compatibility you select SLI compatibility bits and then you select um, Batman Arkham City. Now you move down all the way to SLI. Now there's three settings you need to change. That's number of GPUs to use for SLI rendering mode. I have two graphics cards, so I selected two. You do that again for the NVIDIA predefined number of GPUs to use SLI rendering. You, you again select um, number two but make sure you choose DirectX 10 as well and um, NVIDIA predefined number of GPUs to use SLI rendering you select two as well obviously if you've got more than two GPUs you select them accordingly so three-way SLI select three GPUs four-way SLI you select four and so on so that's pretty much it really and um, the only thing I added myself was my maximum performance to be um, my power management should be at maximum performance and my um, multi GPU and mixed GPU acceleration to be in single um, display mode because I only use one monitor. So that's pretty much it and then you click um, apply changes. So when you start up Fallout 4 now um, you should have um, SLI support. So what I do, what I'll do now is just give you an example of how the performance works. I'll show you the in-game settings I'm using. So um, I'm going to minimize that now. So I'll load up Fallout 4. I currently game at 4K and um, I'm using a resolution of 3840 by 2160. Anastropic filtering is maxed out at 16 times. I'm going to jump into the advanced settings now and as you can see everything is at ultra and everything is maxed out. View distance sliders are also maxed out. For anyone curious as to the rest of my setup, I'm currently using a Intel i7 4790K overclocked to 4.7 gigahertz, 16 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance Pro Series memory at 2400 megahertz, and an Asus Maximus 7 Ranger Z97 board powered by a Corsair HX1000i power supply. So that's pretty much my setup, my settings. For those, for, for, if it does look a little bit complicated for anyone out there, I have gone through the trouble of making a, I've basically exported my Fallout 4 profile. Literally all you need to do is download this link which I'm going to put in the description. Um, providing you've got NVIDIA Inspector already downloaded, you literally click this predefined profile I've made and it should automatically make the amendments to your Fallout 4 profile. So it's literally click and go. So hopefully this will help you guys out. I'm about to show you a quick bit of in-game um, SLI performance just to prove to you it does work 
And then I hope this thing actually helps you guys out because I'm getting amazing performance now. I'm thoroughly enjoying the game. Okay, so I've got Fallout 4 running now. As you can take a look at the top left hand corner, you can see all my GPU statistics. Um, so I'm averaging between 55 and 60 frames per second, sometimes more. This is definitely a positive increase over a single GTX 980 at this resolution. Um, graphics are looking um, pretty glorious at 4K as well. I haven't seen any flashing textures or anything um, popping or just anything that really shouldn't be there to ruin the experience. So um, that seems pretty safe at the moment. I'll just do a bit of gameplay now so you can see what you'd expect. Also bear in mind I'm recording at 4K at 60 frames per second which does give you about 4 to 5 frames per second performance hit with Nvidia Shadow Play so I would be getting more in normal circumstances he bought them fair and square Trudy ain't our fault if he's strung out now don't make me come in there and shoot up that little trading post of yours what are you talking about I don't know what this is about, but you guys look like bandits to me. And I quite like the look of that gun. Yeah, that, up. Yeah, that bitch was tough. Alright, we dealt with those guys pretty easy. So I'm not really going to continue anymore with the game, but as you can see, performance is really, really decent. Um, around about 60 to 55 frames per second at 4K. So um, it's definitely better than one GPU, and it definitely works. So hopefully this will help you out, guys. And if it doesn't, um, let me know your experiences. And um, hopefully NVIDIA and Bethesda will get around to actually making an official profile. But for now, um, this does help.